Bonjour, hey everyone, hope you're doing great. Uh, welcome in Nashville Super Speedway in the car season finale. I think it's a good summary of our, of our season. We had really good pace, uh, but we got very unlucky with the yellow. Don't blame me, the camera didn't work at the start, but I tried to get the best from after that. There's some really cool moment. There's the, some oh beep moment, uh, but generally it was a lot of fun, just not the result we wanted, but a good race. Here we go, that must be one of the restart, uh, probably the second restart, pretty good restart here, going on the inside, trying to go uh, there, but uh, the door closes, so you can see Kyle Kirkwood coming on my outside, um, enjoying the fact that the number six was a little bit off pace in turn one to get inside, Kyle was super very loose uh, for most of the race, which uh, made it quite tricky uh, at some stages, uh, but... Uh, also on that occasion, quite uh, understeery, completely missed the apex uh, on cold tires, cold black tires. It's uh, always difficult after at the restart, um, and you don't want to go uh, high up. It's uh, it's really bad. It's a lot of marbles. So here we are being chased by number six uh, and uh, pit stops. So 60 miles an hour pit lane. It's pretty fast. Stopping on the mark is not that easy. Uh, you can see the fuel load is doing his job. Front left is done. Bit of front wing adjust. Fuel is out. Front wide was a bit slow on that one, so lost a little bit of time. And off we go again to 60 miles an hour for the first part. That's 100 kilometers an hour. It is fast in the pit lane, and you can see that there's quite a bit uh, going on right there. Uh, we enjoyed the camera this weekend, uh, which was a lot of fun. And now we finally get reds. Uh, reds were really good for the restart, not so good for long stint, but uh, I think I, uh, I had quite a bit of fun with them, especially at the end of the race. So here we go, trying to go into turn one, uh, trying the outside line, see if it works, but just a little bit high here, and, and I don't think they've cleaned the track as much as I wanted them to do, so a bit of a washout. Uh, and then that was kind of a moment that, that was not fun, uh, where the four goes slow, and you know, you're in dirt here, you're trying to go down to the apex, trying to avoid any contact. Uh, lost a bit of momentum there, but made it through. On to turn one, you can see some cars trying a little bit to find different lanes, uh, but again, that was not easy. Um, sadly, the high lane didn't work as much as I, I wanted. Uh, here you can see there's a bit going on in front of me, so I'm like, okay. Slow down on entry, try to get a really good exit, full use of the hybrid, uh, big run onto the number eight on the inside, moved on. Uh, we're back chasing Kyle Kirkwood. He was uh, it was very fast, um, so it's not uh, it's not easy to follow him, but uh, did the best I could. Um, bit of a restart, uh, kind of missed the timing, and then stuck on the bottom. You can see the 21 is a high line. Uh, it got me nice and square there. Nothing to say. Should have done a better job at the restart. I think I got a little bit caught. Or I don't know exactly what happened, but. Anyway, we're in blacks again, which which going to make things a little bit more difficult. You can see I'm not very confident with the steering wheel, but still got a run on the 45. Uh, that's one spot gain right there, uh, but definitely not not as easy as I um, as I would have hoped on some of the restarts. Uh, the reds were good, good as I say, but blacks were just taking it a bit longer. Um, here we are. It's pretty fast. It's a pretty fast track. It was actually quite fun. Here's wheel power playing for the championship so you want to make sure that you know you're not making anything silly on him um, obviously you want to pass him but you don't want to make a mess um, you've got a bit of a checkup uh, three wide would have been a very very bad idea trying to make that high line work and you just see the second part of the corner the car doesn't want to turn it's just like it's sliding it's just it's just not working uh, which is a shame um, trying here in 3 and 4 hasn't worked all weekend long but in that occasion for some reason it worked out okay so um, sometimes it's, it's funny depending on the wind depending on what's going on it can change a bit um, but yeah trying not to lose too much time here and, and trying to get the cars in front trying to stay you know as close as we can um, as I say strategy just didn't come our way um, we lost a lot very late in the race for a pit stop just before a yellow flag and and that cost us uh, clearly a top 10 result. So slightly annoying, but at that point it was all trying to gain as much time as we could. Uh, big run here into Harvey, 
It's probably a different strategy, saving a bit of fuel. Uh, that run seems to be a little bit too easy, so I guess it was, you know, a different engine mapping. Here we go into turn one, trying to hard line again, and uh, yeah, second part of the corner is always a bit tricky, but on that one, it's kind of working on, on the, the 41. Uh, getting the most of the description here but just not good enough so he's keeping the inside lane and you see I'm, I'm really fighting in the second part to get the car to turn um, it was same in one and two for some reason concrete wouldn't creep up on a high line so it was either you stay in line or you either you, you know, try to go for it and again same same attempt here trying to keep the front end at least the front ends the right inside of my front wing clean and this time I'm getting for the inside line and it's mine Uh, back at the front, trying to do the same thing here on that group of cars in front of me. Um, you know, trying not to lose too much time. I think there's one car that was kind of a bit slower than everyone else, and, the, and everyone was packed behind and just couldn't really pass. So, trying to be creative. Um, it worked for a bit, and, and then it didn't work, and then it worked again, and, and it didn't work. But um, it's all about trying and never giving up, right? So, here we go outside, you know. 30 so same thing trying to, st to stay flat on exit uh, got a good exit got the slipstream from the car in front of me and that's job done on the 30 uh, I think now it's gonna be the 11 in front of me and um, that one that one didn't work well for me uh, I believe You know, judging a little bit the highland trying to see what it does what it feels like so it can carry a little bit more speed uh, turn three and four was a bit more tricky if you were going high there was a lot of washout so it wouldn't really work as well as, as one and two um, so it was really limiting your options to try to pass car so here we go setting it up going in but you see just just a washout and when you wash out, you completely lose the momentum, and it's really annoying because no, you know, the spot that I worked so hard to gain from Philip Ali that really closed the door on me. Oh boy, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's not great. It's a last lap move, but um, yeah, you lose the momentum, and you see two spots gone, and you have to redo everything again. So you probably can learn a bit more patience, patience, um, but. You know, or when you see a car or lose the car is after going in the marbles it's just about you know cleaning your tires getting back into the rhythm and, and making sure that you can do it again but yeah I'm knowing that you know that high line wouldn't work as well as, as I hope to and as soon as the tar wore a little bit it was just no go but we had so much more pace than those guys we, as I said we just got very unlucky with the pit cycle we should have been in front of all of those guys and, and we are not so it's just very uh, very frustrating so same to here again, um, not too far out, I believe. Uh, no, nope, I'm doing it. And then you go into dirt here, yeah. so quite tricky, but made it, uh, getting the spot back and uh, and get back into the hunt. No, you see that group, no one is trying anything, so it's just like at that point in the race, uh, I asked if we had you know different pit stop option or pit window, and there was nothing, so. It was all about the old style, do it on track uh, or not. And um, yeah, probably tried once or twice too hard, but this is what we had to do at that point. So it is what it is. And I'll tell you one thing, when you get a pass on the outside, it's always very, very re rewarding and very, very fun. So here we go. Just just that washout mid to exit, just doesn't want to get there. Doesn't want to group up. Uh, the wind was gusty, so whenever you had headwind, it would work. Wherever the wind was a bit less strong in turn one and two, it was just not working as well. So um, that was that was really the hard part to judge. The spotter tells you about the wind all the time, and, and you, know, you try to get as many information as you can. So yeah, if you're from Europe and you think ovals are easy and it's just about turning left, um, there's a little bit more to it than that. And uh, you know, I don't blame you. It's the same. I was always thinking it was easy and was just turning left and being flat full throttle but um, no it's kind of it's kind of a little bit more going on and the cars are so much on the limit at those speeds you know we're doing 206 miles an hour in qualifying which is 300 and what is it 30 40 uh, on, on quite short ovals and, and then you go side by side and, and you know so close to the wall everywhere it's just so difficult uh, 
So I'm building that hala and trying to clear it and clean it myself uh, and trying to find a solution really to make it happen. And you see, it didn't work on willpower previously and this time on Filipaldi it worked. Um, and here we go, uh, we had to use two set of red tires, that was the rules in that in that race. Uh, we had only used one set sadly just before the end, so we're going close to the end while we're going 12 laps to the end, no one red tire. And um, absolutely gonna send it. I don't know what the 20 was uh, fighting so hard to keep me behind while we're not absolutely not on the same strategy. Uh, again, that, that hard line in one and two, not working the way I want to. Absolutely not working the, the way I want to. Um, and, and that car here just, uh, you know, keeping me behind, losing a bit of, of time. And you see the bump in turn three and four when cool tires, the car is bottoming and it's moving a lot. That's, uh, that's not a friendly feeling at that speed. So here we go. Opening the entry, cutting down to the apex, full throttle, hybrid deployment. Off we go trying to create a run that I believe yet yeah, is speeding. So no, it's it's all about speed, it's all about pushing as hard as I can to catch the guys in front of me. I think we are down to third and P20 at that point, sadly. And there's quite a few cars in front of me that I need to go and get. But uh, look at the closing speed we're going to get on those guys. They're like, you know, out of turn two already. I'm coming into turn one. But I've got new tire, full use of the engine power. Last race of the season, absolutely flat out. And it, um, we got the car in a much better window for the end of the race. You know, and on overall, you work through all the stings to adjust our pressure, adjust front wing. Uh, catching up to number nine, Scott Dixon, six time IndyCar champion. Uh, look at the speed differential from a car coming out of the pit versus car on track. Pretty, uh, pretty insane, isn't it? So, Scott Dixon in front of us, six time IndyCar champion, one of the legends of the sport. Uh, and look at the, what those new tires are going to do for me to turn one. We are absolutely miles away here and uh, not thinking to overtake any of those but look at how much speed more speed you're able to carry on new tires absolutely fantastic so that's one done and then suddenly the camera is turning the wrong direction um, here because there's a lot more passing that's going to be done very very soon That's one into turn one outside. That outside line working really well for me on new tires. That's another one going into turn three, but Harvey was not the position, different fuel strategy. They did a really good job with, with the Econ. Right now, I'm behind the six. Uh, look at the six coming on the outside, clear. And then we're gonna go on the outside of this one and this one that's three cars pass in one corner that was fun that was a lot of fun and off we go towards the white flag i wish there were more laps because at that speed it would have catch so many more cars but uh yeah just a little bit late in the race uh, but anyway it was a lot of fun i hope i'll see you soon i'll try to find ideas of videos i can do for you but um as of as of now we'll have to wait maybe next year to get more indica videos